everybody, Shane Backman here from Guitar at Work. Welcome back. Very excited about this one. This is James Taylor's Fire and Rain. Multiple requests for this one. I'd like to send this out to Chantel here in Ottawa East. Chantel, you're going to nail this one for sure. Um, very, very fun song and absolutely a classic for sure. You're going to need Capo 3, in case I forget to mention it. Capo is on the third fret for this guy. Um, and th I want to thank you for coming back and all your uh, thumbs up really help here in YouTube land. I appreciate that. And all your comments and suggestions. It's been a ton of fun to hear from all of you. So keep them coming. Um, capo 3, um, now this is all about shapes. When you enter into a song like this, Tab, we'll, we'll have some Tab here in a sec, but Tab has this terrible tendency to fragment chord shapes. So all we're gonna need here, some shapes first. So we're gonna go through them slowly in just a sec, but just to give you a taste here, this shape here, going to this shape here, going to this shape, going to this shape. Okay, so, uh, and there's a couple others coming your way as well. But you're going to need, what's going to help you get through that here, we've got three sheets. If you go to patreon.com slash guitar at work, there's going to be three sheets for this. One has all the chord shapes that we're going to be talking about. Just makes it a whole lot easier to follow along. And then you've got the actual tab. We're going to go through note for note. I'll put up the bar numbers and all of that to help you out. But it's really important to go get those. You'll be able to follow along a whole lot easier. That's patreon.com slash guitar at work. Go grab those and we're in good shape. I'm going to be staring at them on a couple of iPads here. So I make sure I stay true to the sheet. Um, what we've got first off, uh, you're looking at that first sheet that says chord shapes, fire and rain chord shapes. Um, we're up here, watch out for Roman numerals if that's new to you beside a chord diagram. I'm going to start on an A chord up here. It's going to be different than an A chord that you happen to know probably down here. We're going to need him as well. But this A is up here. You're going to see the Roman numeral 5. Let's get you a shot of that. Roman numeral 5. There it is there. You can think of it like the top half of an F chord if you're comfortable with that. I've got my middle finger here on what would be the, remember capo three, so I'm calling them out as if the capo was zero, one, two, three, four, five, on the sixth fret, sixth from the capo on the G string. And here's your first finger with a bar on the top two strings, just like you do on an F chord down low here. So there, I got, and for now I'm just plucking the available strings with the right hand. This is done finger style, no pick in hand. That's your A shape. That's easy enough. And then I'm gonna move it two frets lower. This is E minor seven, this guy here. And notice the bass note changed to the low E. You'll see that indicated by a, an open circle there on top of that low E. And your third shape, we all know this chord and love it. Here's a D. And then we're heading to an A, as you may know it. Um, now there's lots of ways, there's tons of fingerings for an A chord. I think you're gonna have a lot of success with this if you go with two, three, and four. That's middle, ring, and pinky. There's lots of other ways, and guys, lots of people can do it differently. I think you'll find that's uh, gonna help you out quite a bit. If you're not used to playing your A that way, hey, it's uh, universally probably one of the better fingerings for that, for sure. So I'm playing that A that way. And then we're going to an E. There we go, and then G major seven, this guy here. May have run into that one before. <laughs> Yeah, so those are your shapes, uh, and then we apply the finger picking. So let's just, I'm just gonna run those shapes really quickly again, give you a close up of that, then let's get to the detail with the right hand. It's a really great approach. You probably don't wanna get into the tab until you're comfortable with those shapes, because the tab is gonna kind of fragment those shapes, but this, these are the, your foundation, I'll call it. So here again, here is your A, three, four, down two frets, change your bass note, E minor seven. Here's a D here, going to an A, Going to an E, to a G major seven. There we go. There's your shape for the intro and the verse. It's really cool. Really, you have an intro, a verse, and a chorus. And the verse is very much like the intro, just a little less uh, noodly. Um, so let's take now. Let's go to the you know, the tab portion. So you'd be wanting to looking at here, uh, page one. Fire and Rain, the intro. This guy right here, go grab those sheets. The intro is gonna go take, I'm gonna go fourth fret here, middle finger, fourth fret of the G string. That's fourth fret from the capo, watch out for that. So physically, it is the seventh fret. Uh, so I'm gonna take that middle finger and I'm gonna play the A string and the G string at the same time and slide up. So four to six slid up. So middle finger's on there, playing it just like that. Slide, now let's do that again, so going. And at that point now we'll commit to the shape, the A shape we talked about. And there's a five, five, six. So you're just picking it backwards with the right hand. And I should mention as far as assigning certain fingers uh, to certain strings in the right hand, I'm gonna go with this uh, standard old uh, assignment of strings, thumb, 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 first, second, third. So anything that happens in the low three strings, I'm gonna use uh, the thumb for that, right hand thumb. Anything that happens in the upper three strings, the thinner ones, I'm gonna go first, second, and third. I won't have any exceptions to this. You may have a, another system uh, underlying your playing, and that's fine too, just as long as you have some sort of system, it's not willy-nilly, you know? So let's do this again. Here's your four to six. 
Bar one of the intro, slid up. Now I'm going to commit now to that shape. First finger. That was easy enough. Here's one more for good luck. Good. Now I'm going to get rid of that first finger and I'm going to take the low E string in the second half of that bar and I'm going to slide six to four. Let's do that again. Six to four. And I'm going to put that first finger back down again. Here it is there. And let's go top again. So here's your first bar of the intro. Sliding backwards. Reapplying that first finger. Now there's a zero at the end of that bar, which might strike you as odd sounding until you get to that next bit. So here's your very first bar in the intro, slowly. Three, four, and a... Down we go. Open D will sound odd until we get to the second bar. Now here's a D chord coming. Now this is standard D shape here, D shape, but we arrive without the middle finger on. So standard D shape, but we arrive without that middle finger on because we're going to hammer that guy. And right hand, we're going to go first, second, third fingers, and, and I hear that middle finger slamming on there. It's your little H over top, a little slur marker. That means hammer that guy. So first, uh, middle fingers off, and now if you're not hearing that, on your, in your own playing as loud as you'd like. I uh, promise it gets better. You're going to be pretty sure-footed. Uh, get in there, really dig in. Usually what happens is the ring finger gets in the way. He might move sympathetically and choke out that string. That's usually what I'm seeing when people are learning this. And it's a pretty quick little hammer there. Yeah, and you'll use that in a million songs. You may as well get her down in this one. And it's going to happen again. The second one's a bit slower. So here's the second bar in that intro. We've got a quick hammer on the D. And then off that middle finger comes again. And a little slower. There it is. So here it is. There you go. And now the second half of that second bar, we're heading to an A. And same kind of idea. I'm going to start is an A chord. I'm going to start with the pinky off of there so I can hammer them on. There you go. As for what strings to pick, follow the tab. Grab those sheets, follow the tab. And you're seeing a little hammer there with the pinky. Now, pinky's not our smartest finger, so you may have to work him a little bit. Uh, if you're if you're down like this, if your wrist is over, you may have you might be choking him out. So try to get that thumb a little lower. Stand, fingers are standing up on their tippy toes, kind of thing. And you get a nice little hammer in there. Signature James Taylor kind of idea. They're beautiful. Yeah. And so here's your second bar of that intro. So you're getting a hammer on the D. Hammer again. And then here is your A hammer. Now we got some time to kill on the A. Open A. G string. Open A again twice. Now I'm going to drag my pinky up to the third fret of that B string. Dragging the pinky up to the third fret of that B string. Curl your pinkies, a good technique for sure. And I'm going to play the top three strings. So should to the top three strings. I'm going to back that pinky down to the second fret. And then pull off. And end it with the G string. So what is that? Here is the last bit there in the second bar. It's going to go pinky up. A chord, pinky up. Back it down to a regular A and pull off with the pinky and then finish it with the G string there at the second fret. So let me play it. Here's your second bar, okay, very slowly. Now you may have to stop tape there. Get the shapes together for sure. Uh, you wouldn't probably get through this in one sitting. You may have to stop tape, work on those hammers, whatever, whatever you might be having trouble with. Everybody goes through this at first. So here's your second bar in the intro. Hammering on a D, hammer again. Here's an A, you gotta hammer that pinky on. And then bass, G string, bass. The sheet is telling you what strings to pick there. Pinky's going up here. Pinky's going back to regular A bit. Pulling off. Not a very good pull off there, sorry. I'm gonna do that again. Pinky up, pinky back, pinky off, pulled off, and there's your G string to end it. Here are the first two bars back to back, very, very slowly. We're sliding from four to six here, so. Down we go. Open D, hammer, A hammer, pick you up. Let's do that one more for good luck. Again, stop tape if you need to. Okay, here's top again. Okay, entering the second line here, bar three of the intro, uh, is just that A again without the pinky and you hammer them on again. There he is, just like before. 
That's a quickie. Okay, followed by the G string, you'll see on your sheet. There, that fills up that first half of the bar. Bar three again, A hammered. Open A. Now we're going to an E. E shape, standard garden variety E right here. Now we got that, that open D at the end of that bar again. It might strike you as odd until it gets where it's going. That chord's gonna get where it's going. It's gonna be going to a G major seven. Here is bar three again, the hammer on A. Here's an E. And, and you're all the way off. All fingers are off when you play that open D. It's really giving you some travel time to get to the G major seven. Okay, if it sounds odd, if you linger on it, it should. Uh, here we go, G major seven. There's your shape. You've already learned that from the chord shape sheet. And it's all in the right hand at this point. Nothing moves in the left, so. like that one. And here's bars three and four in the intro. And we're getting there. Here it comes. Hammered on the A. E. G major seven. Ghost. Let's do the entire intro. Let's do the entire intro very, very slowly to get you through it. And remember, the intro is very much like the verse, so you're you're really, really uh, cut through a fair amount of ground there already. Here is the intro slowly, starting from the top. Three, four, going. E minor seven coming. Open D. Hammer. A. is your intro and again very much like the verse stop tape there get that all together and uh, you, that's the hardest part I think you're gonna find for sure uh, so get through that bit uh, it should take a little bit of time to get through that nothing wrong with that at all um, hey now the verse very much the same here except it's just a little less active I'll call it maybe the vocals in it could be hard to hear exactly what's going on with the guitar because the vocals in kind of on top of the guitar as it should be um, we start out with the same shape you've got this a up here a up the neck we'll call it there and a little bit of a tinkle here. So you've got that five, 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 just like that. So same shape, just different than, different than what happened in the intro. Okay, then I'm gonna drop that back to E minor seven, play my bass note. So it's all on the right hand at that point. Here's bar one of the verse again. Check your sheets, it's going. E minor seven, down we go. Bar two of the verse, we're heading to a D shape. It's all in the right hand at that point. So here is bar two of the verse. Here's a D. D again. Here's your A. Now here is that hammer. Yeah, again. So bar three of the verse, uh, excuse me, bar two of the verse. Here's D. A. Hammer in the A, pinky. There we go, and it's dying to get to that next bar. It's sort of unresolved until we get there. Bars one and two of the verse. Play along slowly at home if you can. If not, stop tape, nothing wrong with that. Here is your A shape. E minor seven. Here's a D coming. Here's an A. Now we're going to bar three. Uh, where you've got that hammer to, to resolve things. Here's that same hammer, pinky. There it is there. There it is. It's all on the right hand after that. So here is bar three of that verse. Going to an E here. All on the right hand. It's all on the right hand. Just sitting on a static E there. And G major seven coming your way here. Just grab the shape first. That's uh, all four bars of the verse. I'm gonna play it very slowly. Again, so I keep saying it, but stop tape there and just go through it on your own slowly. Come back and see us when you're able. Here is an A verse. 
E minor 7. D coming. A. Bar 3. E. G major 7. That verse again. Three, four, going. E minor seven. D. A. Minor three. E. And G. Yeah, the rhythm of that last bar is G major seven. I'm going to do hang a little longer on that first. Uh, the first pluck there, G, three and zero. Yeah, so it's, it's a full quarter note there. You're getting that. One, two. Yeah, maybe more up to tempo. Here's a verse. Three, four. E minor seven, D. That beautiful flourishy kind of sound too. Just love it. Really good so far. Really good. Hope you're you're hanging in there. Uh, stop tape uh, and mark what times might be giving you trouble in there for sure. That gives us our intro and our verse. And uh, let's run the chorus at this point here. I'll grab that here in the old iPad. Page two. This is page two on your sheets again. Patreon.com/slash guitar at work. And you've got uh, page two of this one is the chorus. Um, we've got some shapes here to contend with for sure. Here is a D. And then D slash C sharp. Let's get the shapes first. Our shapes coming up first. D. And then D slash C sharp right here. Pinky. Well, that's miserable. And when you get there, you're thinking, is that right? Yeah, and it's a strange sounding chord until it resolves to the next one. So that's, that's pretty standard. Standard walk down in the key of D. So I'm going to start again. Here's your D. Then D slash C sharp. And you got to get that pinky to the fourth fret of the A string. Now, if your thumb is up like that, you're probably doomed. Your pinky's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Get that thumb nice and low. Come in from underneath in a situation like this. There you go. And that's a D, D slash C sharp. Now, B minor seven. I'm going to do this. And you'll see a fingering there on your sheet and the chord shapes. Um, barring the second fret. Barring the second fret up to and including the A string and your middle finger is playing the third fret of that B string. You might be used to seeing B minor 7 with the ring finger on and that is definitely uh, B minor 7. In this case he just doesn't bar he doesn't use that guy because he's not going to use him with the right hand. So stick with this fingering here. Now all we have to do to get this next shape E7 sus4 is change the bass note. That's all there is to it. And move your right hand fingers one set thicker. Okay, so it's the same shape. We're just changing the bass note and everything, everything one set thicker. And then it's going to an A. Okay, so here's your chorus chord shapes again. Before we get to the tab, here's a D. D slash C sharp. C, B minor seven. E seven sus. Don't move. And I've seen. Here's an A. Ray. Those are your shapes. Now let's figure out what he's doing with all that. Looking at page two of your sheets, uh, just what we call a cluster pluck right out of the gate. Just going to go thumb, one, two, three. He's playing them all at the same time, not finger picked sort of thing, but just one big pluck on that. D, D slash C sharp, I see, B minor seven, five, E seven sus, and I've seen rain. Now there's your A. Now we got some time to kill on the A, so he does that beautiful. done that in the verse and in the uh, intro as well. So that A hammer on with the pinky that's uh, throughout the song. Signature James Taylor. Let's go top again. Chorus D. D slash C sharp. I see. B minor 7. 5. E 7 sus. And I see. Here's an A. And follow your tab. Hammer. There you go. That's the hardest part is getting it. There's your chorus. That's going to go three times. That line, as it says, repeat times three. Here's your D again. So top, three, four, D. D slash E sharp. D minor seven. E seven sus. And I see. Here's an A. Ray. Comes again. D. D slash C sharp. B minor seven. E seven sus. Here's an A. D. 
and repeat. B minor seven, E seven sus, A five on down. Yeah. Now I'm going to call this part of it. We're, hey, we're coming in the end of this. I'm going to call this part the tag. A tag can be many things. Music tag, T A G. It can be the a way to end a phrase. It can be a sort of a close bracket. It can be repeat or something. Don't know what to call it. Somebody's just going to call it the tag. Somebody says tag it. It's the end of the chorus essentially. So you just go to a straight G chord, garden variety G, D slash F sharp never. Now I'm D slash F sharp. You're going to see a picture of them there on your chord shape sheet. Um, it's really a D with a thumb over on the second fret like that. Uh, don't, don't throw your back out trying that or anything. If you find that's too difficult, uh, you can come up with a finger where you don't have to use the thumb. That's totally fine. So let me run the top of that tag again. Here's a G. D slash F sharp. E minor 7. Taking everybody off except the ring finger. E minor 7 slash B. It's just your first finger going right there. And then to an A9, which is a one finger chord. You gotta like it. And you just start strumming. One. I'm just strumming straight sixteenths, he's like that. Walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken. No discernible pattern, you're just killing time until the whole thing starts again. Um, here is the tag, one more time. Here's a G and I never D slash sharp, F sharp, nine, E minor seven, C, B, uh, E minor seven slash B, and then A9. And we're strumming waiting for that verse to come back in. And I'll start singing again on that. Um, let's do the chorus exactly as written. Here it is, three times through the chorus before the tag. Three, four, going. C slap, C sharp, B minor seven, E seven sus, A. D, D slash C sharp, E sus, going to come back in. You already know how to play that. Um, it really, it's intro, verse, chorus, tag, verse, chorus, tag, verse, chorus, tag, the whole way out. And he ends it with a big long strum, the whole song on that A9. Just strum that all the way out once you've done all the repeats. Um, hey, so I know this might be a, if this is your first finger picking song, definitely it's, it's a, it's a big one for sure. Um, but if you're capitalizing on some, some other finger picking that you've done in your guitar playing career, then you might find this one very accessible. You have to watch when you see, when you see a, a magazine transcription or something and it's like 20 pages. Oh my God. Yes, there is mild variation He's not going to play the verse exactly the same way each time. You got to figure out which variations are worth chasing. Essentially, it is exactly as we covered there. It is those shapes. He might play the odd different string here and there, but is that really worth chasing? So you don't need a 15 page transcription for this one. Here's all your shapes and here's all of your finger picking as well. So uh, anyway, I want to thank you again. Uh, thumbs up are a really big deal on YouTube and I appreciate all of that. You've been very kind to me and I want to encourage you again, go get those shapes, uh, sheets, I should say, go get those sheets from patreon.com slash guitar at work. There's three pages there for you uh, with everything we just talked about. So come back and see us and any comments, suggestions, be glad to hear from you. So enjoy that guys, it's been a lot of fun. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye now, cheers. Yeah.